Hello, are we there? Are we getting the pilot Chesley Sullenberger in for his new book uh, called One Decision, Three <laughs> Pages? <laughs> <laughs> I hit birds. I landed. <laughs> Epilogue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah, I knew it was going to be a special day. I had my coffee. All right. This is You've got I... a book out? This yes. Is... Yes, this is why I hate saying yes to all these guest pitches. He'll be fun, though. He'll be fun if we get him. We're what? obviously not getting him. This is the days in town. Oh. What is the uh, thing called? The book? I don't know. It's called uh, Fuck Geese. <laughs> oh, no, it's actually called Geese or Cunts. <laughs> Captain uh, Chesley Sully Sullenberger with his new book, Geese or Cunts. Uh, thank you for joining us, Captain. <laughs> thank you, miss. <laughs> It's in the middle, there's pictures where you can just look at him hitting geese with golf clubs and <laughs> fucking kicking him in their little geese asses. You, you see, a, you see a, a little sad goose with a boot in the middle of its body. <laughs> Old Chesley taking care of goose business. Chesley hates the geese, despises them. <laughs> Half the book is goose recipes, <laughs> things, things you can make like dog food and cat food out of geese carcasses. <laughs> he he despises geese. <laughs> Chesley. Yes. Hey. Wait, what's the name of the book? Highest, Highest Duty. Duty. Highest Duty. Duty. <laughs> it's about someone who left an upper decker in his toilet. <laughs> he had a friend come over yeah. and shit in a septic tank. They buy the book and it has nothing to do with that fate, <laughs> fateful day. I'll tell you. Highest Duty. It's what was in the pilot and co pilot seat <laughs> after they hit that water. Well, Highest Duty is whichever copy of that book is on the top of the pile. <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> that book is going to fucking stink. Highest duty. Uh, he'll start off talking about the crash, and then he'll go into his fucking awful, boring life. Uh, uh, you know, me and my wife met back in... Oh, how who cares? cares? How exactly. How and then you just keep flipping through the pages until yeah, you, you see plane crash. You look for a picture of, of a goose like, with a, a startled look on his face. <laughs> Hopefully the passenger got a picture of it. <laughs> well, the goose went through the engines, and... Uh, you think the goose would look startled? <laughs> yes, it would. <laughs> and how does the goose look startled? I don't know. His eyes bug out. <laughs> and he goes, actually, you don't know that, but goose have hands, and they do this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, his book is going to be... Oh. I wish we had a copy of it. It's going to be fucking terrible. Yeah, got to see that. You're right, though. It'll start <laughs> out. You know, I was on the runway. It'll start yeah. all that, that and, then, and then it'll... Yeah. Kind of do a, a flashback for for two hundred pages and yeah. finally tell us what happened. Well, he'll say like, "Yeah, we're on the runway. All was ready to go. We're taking off. We're flying. It's a lovely day." And then a thud. Chapter two. My mom and daddy met. <laughs> <laughs> no one cares. Right, no two hundred pages of horse shit. Uh, gives a shit. Could someone it's go highest f- duty? What uh, my search for what really matters? Oh. Um, oh. the fucking the landing flaps, yeah. asshole. About a runway. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. There was Peterborough and Newark, and you hit the fucking river, you cunt. <laughs> Thanks for nothing, shit dick. <laughs> My shoes got wet. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> My search for what really matters. Uh, hats and shitty mustaches. <laughs> Apparently made your list. <laughs> fucking mustaches and raging. Is this the beginning? Okay. The flight lasted just a few minutes, but so many of the details are rich and vivid to me. Mm. I would hope. Which ones aren't? Yeah, don't no Like kidding. when you saw the geese and didn't get out of the <laughs> you way? You are totally right. It says the wind was coming from the north, not the south, which was unusual for that time of year. And my my wheels made a distinct rumbling sound as they rolled across the rural Texas airstrip. What, he's starting in Texas? Oh, yeah, he's got to get get us to LaGuardia. And I didn't know what was in store for me on that fateful day. Chapter 2. Let's see. He starts in Texas. Uh, Oh, no, he's back in 1967. Oh, my God. Oh, was it two, like his first flight? Within two paragraphs, he goes back to 1967. It was June 3rd, 67. I was 16 years old. Oh, shit. This oh, book is that. over by page four. It was his well, first solo flight. He landed that one in a lake. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he loves the water. He sure Sully. does. He used to have a kite. He'd always land it in a puddle. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what are some of the chapter titles, Danny? Because they'll, they'll give away where the book is going. Yeah, yeah. Chapter one a is flight a flight you'd never forget. Oh, boy. A pilot's life. Chapter two is a pilot's life. (laughs) Measure Uh, twice, cut once. Measure twice, cut once. All right, a chapter about his circumcision. (laughs) (laughs) The gift of girls. Ah, Oh, good. That's what I want to hear about. How the guy who landed in the river got his first piece of ass. The next one is uh, fast, 
Neat's average. He, uh, I guess, analyzes the way he fucks on any <laughs> different. <laughs> um, seven is long-term optimist, short-term realist. Mm. Wow. Hopefully one-time author. <laughs> Ugh, number eight. This is the captain speaking. Mm. Chapter nine, showing up for life. Chapter ten, anything is possible. Uh, number 11, managing the situation. Uh, the view from above. Yeah. With 13, sudden, complete, symmetrical. Uh-oh. What the fucking title is that? That's... 14 is a great chapter. Gravity. Gravity. Let me explain gravity to you. Yes. A and, wild uh, ride. It's a wild ride. Mm. Yes. 18 is just called home. Home. That was probably after. And then 19, the question. Ah. Uh, Okay. Are you gay? <laughs> yes. yes. Why did you write this book? Why isn't this a leaflet? <laughs> Why isn't this a fucking a three paragraph blog? <laughs> like, there's nothing about the situation that we haven't heard already. It should have we been know an article it all. in Time Magazine. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Doing a book signing in the Long Island Sound. <laughs> Just going to sit there in the water. You guys should stop. Sully was very, uh, uh, he was a hero, an American hero. It's mean. He's a goose killer. I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> it's a massacre of geese. <laughs> and the goose's family wrote a book <laughs> called That Fateful Day. <laughs> I'm obsessed with reading it now. I, I, I ordered a Kindle. Oh, I, you did? Yeah. Ugh. Wow, what's wrong with that? No, so you're going to get that book for the Kindle? The first thing I'm going to get and read it on a plane. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I want to eat Sully's mustache. I want him to shave it, and I want to have it. I want to mix it in with jam. <laughs> And fucking eat it off a dog's dick. <laughs> Put it on top of a piece of sushi. <laughs> no, I want to suck it off a dog dick. <laughs> I know, I heard you. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Maybe that's why they don't push the show publicly <laughs> and make proud announcements about it. Yeah, I don't think Bob Edwards is talking about of course he's not. Sully's mustache being cut off, mixed with jam, smeared on a dog dick so he can lick it off. No, of course now, not. guys, let's not make fun of people. Oh, okay. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Kindle. Why is it called a Kindle? Actually, because you're, you're I don't know, <laughs> because maybe it's shit and you throw it in and burn it like firewood. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, come on. Or maybe because you you buy it with a Barbie? No, no. It's not funny. Oh, God, no. That was horrible. <laughs> oh, it's awful. We got a guy that actually went to a Sullenberger uh, book signing. Really? Wow. Brian, what do Where? you got? There's about... 30 people standing around. He walked in. They all applauded to sign their books. He was out of there. It was the biggest non-event I've ever seen. Uh, I actually feel bad. I don't, I don't want to see the guy embarrassed like that. Um, no, all the, you know, there's not going to be uh, a line around the block I'm surprised, for though, man. Well, with all the attention he got, he should have got a lot more fucking people uh, showing up to his book signing. They, they, they brought him out during the more. Super Bowl. Uh, guy should have people at his book And he waved, him and the crew waved uncomfortably long right. till the middle of the third quarter. <laughs> like, get off the field, you fucking you goose-murdering asshole. <laughs> we have fucking wagers to cover. <laughs> hey, Goose Hitler, get off the fucking <laughs> genocide against geese. He's a criminal. He should be arrested. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that book is going to be brutal. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Just buy a, I want to buy a whole box of it and see if I can <laughs> skip them across the river. <laughs> oh, I'd rather read my fortune in a magic eight ball. It's going to be a fucking terrible read. <laughs> How about you just go? How about everybody that go to his book signing with fucking like little geese masks on <laughs> and boo him? <laughs> Murderer! Boo! Zell! <laughs> I know you, you murderer! <laughs> he just sits there with a bunch of geese behind him, and when people come up to get at their book signed, he snaps the neck and signs it in goose blood. <laughs> <laughs> and then he closes the book on the goose <laughs> as like a bookmarker. 
Oh, he hates geese. Uh, he really does. He caught some goose fucking a chick he was dating at one point. <laughs> <laughs> it's available. Uh, well, Tuesday's books come out, so it's probably not. Maybe he is coming yeah. on. Maybe he's coming in tomorrow. Who knows? Yeah. I doubt That'd it be now, nice. But, uh, oh, yeah, yeah now? Yeah. Oh, and of course, we'd just be nothing but nice. Of course we would. What's that about? Uh, Hearing he passed on uh, radio? radio. really. Why? Mm. What, does he, what does he think he talked on when he saved his own life? That fucking prick. <laughs> really? <laughs> do a TV interview? <laughs> talked on the radio. Yeah. Fucking asshole. <laughs> Sick of radio not getting respect. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Even though we spent 40 minutes destroying that hunk of shit <laughs> with a cover. But he did talk his way out of it through a radio. Of course he did, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> How do you think they knew where you were landing, you dummy? I know. They, they don't mention the other time when he was flying and he hit a water buffalo. He's lousy. <laughs> <laughs> he hit a unicorn once. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> clips Superman. The balloon and up. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Uh, oh, fuck. Mm. Uh, that makes me laugh a lot. Sully's book. Oh, Chapter two, wake up, reader. <laughs> There's nothing worse than a book about one small event. Uh, I know. What, the catch was good? Oh, He's yeah. A... <laughs> yeah. More called? than a catch or whatever. More than a catch. Yeah, no, a it book. wasn't. No, it wasn't. It was just the catch. And Sully, you think any pilot could write a book and put shit in it Except for landing in the Hudson River. Ugh. That's like the only part you'd want to read. Of course. Yeah. I don't care about the good flights. Good old Sully. Well, who are we to make fun? Godspeed, Sully. Like a God's, hero. Godspeed. Did stuff we could never do. Yeah. Actually save people's could never lives. never crash a plane. <laughs> he did exactly what I could do. <laughs> what I couldn't do was avoid the geese. <laughs> and neither could he. <laughs> He did exactly what I could do. Fly for three minutes and then crash in the water <laughs> with no engines. <laughs> I could do that now. Yeah, why is he special? <laughs> Fucking. Uh, 